Hi guys, wanted to do this quick video for the building biologists and mold technicians that are out there. I've been using this foam for about three months, close to three months now. So yeah, I'm sort of really super impressed with the, with the capabilities of it and I'll show you why. But uh, first off with the foam. So the, the brand is actually called Eulafoam. It's from China, uh, but for bang for buck, the specs, it's got everything that it, that you need, I think, for the industry, and the capabilities. It's a military standard. It's shockproof, dropproof, waterproof. Uh, it's got all the specs. The IP sixty nine rating down here on the bottom right, and the IP sixty eight. So it's dustproof as well. It's got all the seals that you need. It is very solid, and based on the the specs. I've, I've looked at all the other Blackview brands, the cat phones that are out there. Uh, I was really into the Blackview phones, but I decided to wait, uh, primarily because the, the thermal imaging camera was the Lepton 2.5. So it was the old thermal imaging camera versus the new one that was in the Cat 62, S62 Pro, which is the Lepton 3.5. So there are a few other brands out there, but this is what I've chosen and I'll go through some of the specs. The, this particular phone itself has got the Dimensity 900 CPU. It's one of the fastest ones on the market and uh, there are other versions of it, the Helio G99. But what I'm looking for is speed, capability, longevity of the phone itself because a lot of the phones out there the life cycle is three to six months so every three to six months there's a new phone being released and you see that with the samsungs you see that with the the iphones probably every six months six to twelve months there uh, but any other brand yeah they cycle through and that's the the pace of technology these days so it's only a matter of time next year end of this year that you'll tend to see a, a better phone being released and i'll sort of lead up to that just a bit later now the power arm armor 18 it's actually the 18t so t for thermal so it does have the lepton 3.5 thermal that was primarily the reason why i got it uh, the other aspect that it has is it's got android 12 the uh 12 gig of memory and expandability to 5 gig virtual so total total memory of 17 gig ram but it's not going to need it it doesn't use up much and it's usually disabled for my purposes the camera system itself is 108 megapixels main camera and a 32 megapixel selfie camera so the front facing camera is 32 meg the battery this is where i think as i'm doing assessments it is a struggle i'm carrying battery banks power banks power banks like these 5000 milliamps that i use up pretty quickly so i carry two of these or i carry a very large 20 milliamp uh, 20,000 milliamp uh, battery so the battery on this yellow phone is 9600 milliamps so it lasts me the full day quite easily without having to recharge without having to carry cables and power banks and my iPad mini runs out of battery before this thing does and I charge this thing probably once a week if I'm not doing assessments. Uh, usually by the end of assessments I get probably I'm sitting probably at about 70 76 percent um, worst case 50 percent but that's a lot of battery churn. I'm, I'm taking a lot of photos evidencing that maybe taking a couple of videos so there's a lot involved and I'll show you why but Primarily, let's start off with the box. I've already opened this, obviously, and you do get a lot of things built into this. You get tempered glass protection as well, so not a lot of phones come with this. You can see all the specs that I've mentioned up here. Let me if I can fill this off. So it's got a protector, and you can actually utilize this. Now, just some of the specs here that we might want to see. Dimensity 9, 900 CPU, so it's a system on a chip. The, the 108 megapixel 
uh, camera. And it's got three cameras ultimately, and I'll show you the, the other interesting camera that's that's built in. We've got 120 megahertz, uh, 120 hertz display, so the screen is super fast. You're not going to get that lag as you're scrolling up through uh, the windows or the browsers, etc. So 6.58, it is pretty large, and it, you know I've got small hands, but um, it does get heavy. The uh, Android 12. Ideally, you want longevity. Android 14 is already being drafted in beta, so you know Android 13, Android 14 is going to it's going to be capable to handle that quite easily. The LEP thermal uh, Lepton 3.5 sensor. It's also dustproof and splashproof, waterproof. I think it is IP68 uh, and IP68K, 69K rating. So it's military standard grade. Uh, 32 megapixel front-facing camera. 12 gig of RAM with 56 gig of storage. So there's enough capacity to store all those photos that I take. And I, I tend to delete mine out at the end of the assessment anyway. So I've got another method of storing and a very large battery. So you know, the capabilities of this phone is it outweighs anything that you know, the iPhone has. And there's a lot of capabilities built into this. So it's got a 66 watt power charger. Comes out. I don't use this, I've got other chargers, so it's USB-C, perfect, and it comes with a nice bright yellow USB-C cable. So yeah, it does the, does the job. I'm not too uh, worried about cables or power chargers. They're up and up sitting around in the in the home. So I just use what's available. It does have a quick charge function. So it, when you're really low and you want a, a quick charge, it will sort of charge the phone up within a couple of minutes to to um, to a sufficient amount. So you're not going to run out on your next jump. So that's provided that you've got a, uh, a fast enough charger. Now, so this is the phone. Um, sorry, let me get the uh, bit of a reflection off the ring light. Apologies for that. So this is the phone itself. It's it's quite large, right? And to compare it to a, this is an iPhone 6. It is super large. You can see the, the size in my hand. It does get quite heavy. Uh, that is one of the up or downsides to it, but I've already got the screen, screen protector on. The flip side, we've got the the flow sensor down here, we've got another, uh, I think these two are the, the flow sensors, we've got a nice um, LED flashlight, camera, and this tiny thing which I'll, I'll explain a bit later, but 108 megapixel camera, it's solid, and you know, look, look at the, the build and the finish, it looks like it's got a case on it, it doesn't, this is the way it comes, and I, it comes with a lanyard as well which I've installed, uh, just helps with carrying, you know, I'm not going to drop it, I'm not worried about dropping it, but you know, it's just another safety mechanism that you can have. What I did buy with a lot of these is you can get a, a combination pack. So um, when you purchase the phone, they've got all these other accessories that you can purchase it with, and I'll explain through some of the accessories now that you should probably get and the reasons why. Um, I tend to like it. It's it's quite interesting, um, and I'm playing around with it. I'm using some of it in the assessments, and you'll uh, you'll you'll find the benefits, and obviously you'll see the benefits out of it as we go through. So the case itself. Uh, so this is the uh, the armor case that comes with it um, as part of the set. It is quite solid. Right? It comes with a carabiner option and a belt buckle option. I don't use it. It's it's a bit too clunky for me, and you know it, it's quite easy to actually install, but you do have to um, fiddle around with it a bit. So just install that. So that's the belt buckle option. You just have to um, press down on this and slide it out. Right. 
and we've got the Caribbean option. So you, know, you see some of the advertisement photos where they hook this up onto the side of a backpack. Um, the way it sort of installs, set it up, it just clips in. So there is the carabiner hole here, which allows you to maintain that, and that's it installed. So, you know, without the belt buckle, it's probably okay. It just adds a bit more protection. Do you need it? I don't think so. I don't use it. It's, it's sort of pointless for me. It's just another bulk on top of the extra bulk that, that's there. You can see it's quite heavy. Um, we've got the fingerprint sensor here, the volume rocker buttons, and then on this side, we've got a custom key, we've got the TF card and the SIM card. Does, uh, it does have the capability to add uh, two SIM cards or just a SIM card and a memory card. And here's the uh, expansion slot option. So this is where you can have extra attachments to the phone. Um, and what I mean by that is you could get an endoscope for this phone, which makes it super handy to actually utilize on your jobs. And this thing actually has two cameras. It's got the front facing camera and it's got a side camera with a light on it. So you can literally stick this into a wall cavity, look forward, look down, rotate it, look all around 360 degrees in the wall cavity and get a really clear picture of, uh, of that wall cavity or any other sort of cavity or subfloor vent that you're um, putting the endoscope into. And it, it measures at the, um, at the 720 mode. So crystal clear photos. You know, I, I have issues with other endoscopes and bore scopes that I've bought in the past and you know, I'm going to sell those if anyone wants it. Let me know because I'm sticking with this. This is super easy. The other attachment, and I'll jump into the examples with these attachments anyway, but it comes with a digital microscope which I have been playing around with. It is quite interesting. Um, I'm not a mycologist, but you know, it gives me possibilities of exploring a bit more. So it's the Elephone branded. The kits that you buy with the phone only comes with either the microscope or the endoscope. So I'll put the links down in the bottom of the video. Have a look through it, work out what you want. Uh, and you know, it is an affiliate link, so you know, if you want to support me, go right ahead. Uh, it's from the Ulophone store from AliExpress, so for those that want to go direct and bypass the affiliate links, uh, go for it. But I have um, I have the affiliate links below, so if you do want to support me with uh, with this review, then please do so. So the microscope is goes up to a thousand times zoom from fifty times, and you've got the option of zooming in, which is I think it's the digital zoom that it's got. And the snap is the function to actually record the photo that you're taking. And I've got a, uh, a small example that I'll go through. Hopefully we'll see what, what comes up on this, but um, we'll explore that a bit later. So there are the two accessories, or three accessories that you can purchase with the phone. It's great. I, like it. I can't rave enough about it. it. It's super useful, getting lots of benefit out of it. And battery life is there and I'm not running out of the batteries at all. So just take the case off. So the phone itself has a lot of function. So we've got a number of things but it's standard Android 12. The thermal sensor is there. Now I'll just get that so it's a lepton 3.5. Now if I stick my finger underneath here, it should go bright red, give me a, a thermal reading. And you've got all these other options up here, so I'm just doing through. So you can do the spot readings of the, of the camera uh, of an area that you want to measure. I'm going to stick my finger in there. 34.2. 
so oh, it's going up to 36 it's got a range and you can sort of see here in the gallery review of an example that I've taken you can slide down and see the actual photo so it's one of the features you can actually extract that photo out so you've got the sand photo and the thermal photo uh, and that's going to be quite beneficial obviously sometimes you can't pick out the room that you're actually measuring so this is a quick and easy you can slide through and have it have a look through that um, that thermal image now i'll just scroll back up it's got a tool bag so there are some functions here that are worthwhile i've got a compass okay and some other functions you've got a sound meter so you could measure the decibels of the of the uh, of the room as well so sound levels and i'll give you the ratings of how loud the sound is Swipe to the left, go back, got picture hanging options, so this might be a bit difficult to see, but it'll um, allow you to do a level and determine if, if the picture that you're hanging is, is level. Other functions, I guess probably more useful, is the gradient meter. So I'd use this, stick it on the uh, top of the roof and determine if it's level, if it's got a slope um, or a pitch or gradient. So, you know, flat roofs in particular are going to be problematic with water drainage. So this is a, a nice way of just quickly measuring and determining if there is a problem on the roof. Obviously, there's uh, pitch, different pitch um, degrees for different types of roofing. So um, it's always best to understand those but but this is one way of quickly determining if there is a, a slight pitch i won't go into the other ones but uh, the torch is probably the most interesting one so i'll turn that on and that is one of the brightest ones that you can get on a mobile phone um, yeah quite amazing i'll just turn that off okay so other functions, a standard Android, so there's lots here that you can use. I use Spot Lens as well as another way of, uh, I guess, taking photographic observations and measurements. The That's probably the key ones that I wanted to explain. The phone itself is quite large, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the no, actually, here's the function that I wanted to indicate. So we've got the standard picture, you know, beautify options, high res. High res puts you up into the 108 megahertz. You've got high definition um, photos, HDR photos capabilities. But the key one, if I, it's got a microscope on this. So remember that that is a microscope and it does 30 to 50 time zoom so it actually brings in the lower range um, of the magnification and and then the the external microscope covers that from 50 times up so you can sort of see here it's got a 30 time zoom and i can flick that up all the way up to 60 time zoom so there's a bit of an overlap but again if i was to Place this up against it. It's not quite working. Let's do this. So I can I can zoom in. That's thirty times zoom there, and I'll zoom into sixty times zoom. So capabilities are there. I might just bring up the, the small slide and see what it picks up. So I'm just doing this by hand, so I may have some difficulty trying to find an example. 
So it's got that ring light, which is allowing it to take a, a closer look. Looks like we've got something going there. And we're at 60 times zoom. I could zoom out and it will try and autofocus. So it does take a bit of getting used to. You can sort of see there that that's, that's got something growing. So it looks like little spores. I'm not a mycologist, so I'm not going to attempt to uh, identify the, these spores, but we'll see if we can get a closer look with the, the microscope. So the microscope here, I'm just going to connect this up. So this, the U-Smart connector, basically you've got to unscrew the little screw here and you've got a little latch here that you can poke it into. And once I connect this in, it will automatically start up the endoscope um, software. And you can see the, the microscope's already lighting up. Endoscope software has started. Oops. Okay. So I'll just adjust this a bit. Set this for our stability purposes. So the, the camera system itself, basically there is a, a little cap I want to take off. It's got a ring light around it, so I'll just move the phone to the side. And you can zoom in and move things around. I might zoom out a bit. So it's got its own focus. I can actually take this off. It's a bit clunky sometimes. Sit it flat. Zoom into the area that I'm, I'm after. Okay, so I probably want to center this a bit more. Okay, and then I can zoom right in. Now with this, I can actually press the button here to digitally zoom in. Um, or the button up this side takes a photo that I can review later. And I just rotate this a bit further and try and zoom into one of these sections. So it does take a bit of getting used to. So that's zoomed in. I might press the zoom function a bit more, see how far we can actually get up to. So that's quite, oops. So obviously having a proper microscope is going to be hugely beneficial. You're not going to have a lot of this movement because it's all controlled by knobs. Uh, and yeah, there's no ability to really stay. This is just a tape of a, an external timber that had some invisible growth on it and that is just black to me so I, I can't distinguish any details it says it's a thousand times zoom but there's not a lot of detail that I can observe I'm trying to zoom in a bit more yeah you can see a bit, it's a bit Awkward trying to do this. So I'll just try and zoom in a bit and focus again. Yeah, very clumped up. So. I'm I want to guess what it is, but it's not, I'm not getting enough detail. And this isn't one of the verified sl uh, slides that I've got anyway. So anyway, you get the idea. It's a super useful microscope in some ways. You can actually look at other things, circuitry uh, features. It's 
it's got a light enough to actually sort of zoom in and look at other aspects of uh, that. So you get a fair amount of detail through that already. So yeah, nice little gadget. I'll just quickly move on to the, the endoscope and then I might cover off uh, something that's just released today, I believe, and it's on sale. So the endoscope function, again, the it's got the eSmart connector, it's got the light intensity adjustment here, Xylophone branded, and this button here swaps the camera angle. So you can select which camera you want to observe, observe it from. So I'll just do that. And again, connecting it through the smart connection point, it should automatically start up. So you can sort of see here the camera is turned on now. So as you can sort of see that that's the, the light. Another camera there. If I was to rotate. Press the side button. I should get I'm looking at the side of the box here, right there. So can see the light uh, rotate again it's pointing forward and I'm looking directly at that and I can sort of go in uh, and over here I've got the function so you do there's no other button that you can press so I'm just adjusting the light brightness intensity there I'll take a photo and I can take videos as well so but you know, you're primarily looking through wall cavities and looking if there is a, a growth. So I might go through here and then change the angle and look, look on the sides, rotate it around. Um, and the length of this endoscope is only about, I think it's a metre, two metres. So super useful function. I don't have to carry another unit. It's just an attachment. I just have it with me when I'm doing mold assessments. And it, uh, it has been quite helpful, especially when you can't move the camera around, around corners. Um, if you can stick it in or drill multiple holes, the size of this as well is quite small. So, you know, it, you know a screwdriver punching a hole through the, the wall cavity, plasterboard, you know, you're not going to have a huge hole, gaping hole from that. So, yeah, the capability is there to create several holes and get closer to the source and then assess it. If, if there is mold, then you know, punch a bigger hole and take the wall cavity sample from that. Um, but that's only if you've done the destructive wall testing workshop through the college. And then turning it off, I, I just unscrew it. It's quick and easy. The, the camera stops working. You can sort of see here, that's, that's tiny. But, no, I'll just move that out. So, this endoscope's not that wide. So great for little tight places for use. So that's that's the phone itself. Now I've got other tools and functions that I've got here, but they're the primary use cases. It's heavy. It's yeah, you can see how how wide and large it is. Um, so it's, it is a, a hefty weight. But, oh, there was another one. You can get the kits with the wireless charger. I do suggest that you get this. It's a Eulophone one again. Uh, it comes with the, the kit, so you could get the, the endoscope kit with the wireless charger, the case, and the phone, and uh, it'll be sorted. You, you do, you, you, 
I tend not to open these caps off, so that's where the, the headphone jack goes. And then the bottom one is the is the USB-C connector, and it is a bit difficult to open, but once you do get it open, it's there. But you want to keep this sealed up, especially if you're going in subfloors and you need to wash the phone under a tap. You, these have to be closed up. But again, you can sort of place that on the wireless charger. It'll turn red for charging. And uh, it, it's a slower trickle charge, so it's always going to be faster if you use the uh, the 66 watt charger with the USB-C, that's going to do the quick charge. But again, if you do that, that's going to sort of shorten the life of the battery, which I don't want. This is probably going to last me a couple of years anyway, so um, unless something new and better comes out. Which leads me to the other announcement. Um, your phone have actually released a 19T, so it, I guess from the 18T, it's the Power Armor 19 that is released, so there is a 19 now. But I looked at the specs a bit more. It's still got the thermal, flow thermal imaging lepton 3.5 sensor. The only difference with the 19T is uh, it is going to be cheaper. Uh, the camera um, itself, the selfie camera or the front facing camera is only 16 gig, whereas the 18T, this one here, is 32 gig. Uh, battery size is still the same, 9600 milliamps, so all day, you know, all week battery life. The 18T, this one, this particular one, it has 5G capabilities. The 19T only has 4G. So if you're worried about 5G, go for the 4G option. I don't use 5G on this. If I scroll down here, uh, you can turn off 5G, so the 5G option there. So it's only using the the low end, uh, low to mid end, mid range frequencies. So I'm only using 4G, so I don't really need 5G. Obviously as a building biologist, you know, the more frequencies you have, the more exposure, plus you, if you're not putting it in airplane mode, you're going to have that uh, near field exposure to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth is turned off, I've got location services turned on, but uh, it, I use it for my own needs and, and those capabilities. Now, the so they're the key differences. So the 19T, cheaper price released today, I believe. The It's got a Helio G99 CPU, whereas this has got the Dimensity 900 CPU, so this one's a lot faster in terms of speed and capabilities. This one, this 18T, 18T uh, is, it's got a gaming mode, so you can play games on this quite easily. Whereas the Helio G99, it's going to be a bit slower, so it may just have some issues playing games. I haven't tested it, so I can't tell you for sure. But everything else is pretty much the same, same size, same shape. Um, yeah, same capabilities, just cheaper price. You know, low end front facing camera, um, a bit slower CPU, uh, but it's got the same 12 gig of memory with the 5 gig virtual RAM and the 256 gig of storage. So, ideally, I'm always looking for phones that have high, lots of memory, lots of storage because you're going to run out of either, and a CPU is always going to change. But getting a a near top end CPU like the Dimensity 900 is going to really help things along. Uh, so it's a perfect combination for me. It's got all the features that I want. It's got the expandability uh, of the U Smart connector as well. So I've got the microscope and the endoscope, and it's got this is a custom button, so I can set different functions for this as well. Which I didn't cover. So for long press. I can start the phone, I can use it to open up open up uh, apps if I need to as well. So, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do like the phone or if you've got any questions, let me know. It is it is one of the better phones out there, I think, for the price. 
uh, on AliExpress at the moment. I think it's only 800, 900 for the phone alone. If you get the kit, then you're probably going to spend up to about a thousand dollars. Let's just have a quick look. So the phone itself uh, on AliExpress at the moment is 885. It's on sale. If you go for the for the phone, the case then that's going to be 920 Australian dollars. The phone and the wireless charger is going to be 920 again. Phone, the case, the wireless charger, 955 Australian dollars. Um, let's just probably pick the phone, wireless charger and endoscope, $991. So it's going to be under $1,000 for, for the phone with the endoscope, wireless charger. It's got yeah, you'll have everything you need. If you go for the microscope, the super microscope option, this one, then you're looking at 973. I don't know if they've got the endoscope and the microscope together. It doesn't look like it. But yeah, pretty much all the pricing that I'm seeing is about you know, max $1,044. So compared to an iPhone or a Samsung, yeah, for the price and the speed and the capacity and the memory and the expandability and the options that you get. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think value for money here is, is quite obvious. So again, affiliate codes and links below, uh, both for the 19T and the 18T. And uh, yeah, if you wanna support me, Go ahead, click on the link below. Otherwise, uh, go direct to AliExpress and uh, search for the phone. Buy it from the Eula phone store. So search for the store itself, the official store. That's where I got it from. And uh, you know, if you go use the link, then you'll go direct to that store and uh, support them, support this, uh, support the actual phone manufacturer as well. They do a lot of testing, uh, some of the lab photos that they've got is quite amazing um, how much thorough testing drop tests um, usage tests that they go through so it, it's put through its paces and there's a lot of reviews out there slowly that are coming out but this is probably one of the best phones out there for our building biology assessments thanks guys i'll see you again